hope you're all good. Today, we're gonna to be doing the first sentence challenge, which I have done once before on my YouTube channel, but it was many years ago. It was right when I'd start my booktube channel, right when I got back into reading. I had like six books on the shelf. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing the first sentence challenge. If you don't know, I'm blindfolded. Someone reads the first sentence of the book out to me and I have to guess what it is. Now we're actually playing for points this time. We're gonna do points based. We're gonna do 20 books in total. If I get it on the first sentence, I get three points. I can then get given the second sentence. I get two points. I can then get given the third sentence. I get one point. If I don't get it, nil point. Nil pro. So we're playing for a total of 60 points today, and it should be fun. It's gonna be good, and we're all gonna have fun! First sentence challenge is always fun. I think we should bring it back. I think everyone should do the first sentence challenge again, because I think it's so fun. I am aiming for like 40 points, I would say, because I feel like I'm alright at this. And I do quiz nights with my patrons every couple months, and one of the rounds we always do is first sentence, and I get a first sentence from my shelves for the quiz. So I feel like I'm gonna be pretty good at it. But in order to do this video, I need a helper. And my help is going to be Tom! <laughs> so you're going to pick the books, okay? And I'm going to be blindfolded and tell you what the first sentence is. Be kind. Pick books you think I may have spoken about a lot and I might know. Why am I so pale? Because going... I'm orange. You're not orange. I look like a ghost. We have I... different complexions. Wow, you're way more tan than me. I'm not tanned, I'm red. I'm florid. Florid. I have a florid complexion. This is gonna be, I have no blindfold, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna use my makeup headband. <laughs> okay, should we just begin? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna be for ten, here for 10 years if it takes you this long to pick a book every time. You're horrible, shut up. <laughs> Walking to school over the snow muffled cobbles, cow, cow roo had no sinister premonitions about the day. Karoo. Karoo. Oh. Karoo had no sense Okay, of I know what it is. Is it Daughter of Smoke and Bone? Yeah. <laughs> I know the character name. I can't believe you're bloody getting me to read in front of people. I hate reading. <laughs> well done, Megan. Oh, I'm so great at this. When you're packing for a holiday, even <laughs> Sunday can be a source of joy. What? Yeah. When you're packing for a holiday, even Sunday can be a source of joy. What the fuck? What does that even mean? I don't know. What does that even mean? I don't know. Something obnoxious. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna make a guess because I have no idea. Um, mm, holiday. Holiday. Love is a revolution by Renee Watson. Nope. Okay, next one. I've never been overly fond of Sundays and I usually try to put off getting up to face the day until the last possible moment. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Um... Uh, um, um, watch us rise. No? No. But this Sunday, we're preparing for a week away, and I was up and doing long before my usual hour. One by one by Ruth Ware? Nope. What the fuck? Death by the seaside. Death beside the... Where did you pick that from? Like, back here? You're a fucking idiot. I haven't read any of those books. Oh, uh, well, I don't <laughs> fucking know that, do I? Listen, that's the, my unread book. You can't pick from there. I didn't know that's what that was. You I thought you knew zones. what that was. I don't pay Listen, attention listen, to listen to me. That still counts. No, it doesn't. Zero pointer. <laughs> I haven't even read it. What's fair? Right. Life's not fair. Right. Okay, well, listen to me. You can't pick those. Why? Well, Because I haven't read them. This. Anything... Anything. But the problem is, like, if I go pick anything, you've got all this shit there, and then I pick it up and Wooloo falls <laughs> off, and you fucking No, okay, off. anything from I'm the shelves. I'm trying to do stuff quietly. So anything. You I can't from. believe you picked a book I haven't even oh, read. Oh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I sit with my wrists cuffed to the table, and I think, but that I am forbid to tell the secrets of my prison house. What? I could a, I could a tale unfold whose lightest word is that still, you, would harrow up my up thy soul. Have you read more than the first sentence? No, it's this first sentence. What book have you picked? I could a tale unfold whose lightest word would harrow up thy soul. What the fuck, Tom? Yeah, why not? I apologise, but you you a, bought this book. A not fatal me. crossing. No, the guard stands by the door watching me. Like he's waiting for something to happen. What the fuck? I hate you. I, I'm convinced I have not read this. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, come on, come on, come on. Um, uh, if we were villains. Yes. What? Oh my God. That's two points. 
I can't believe because it sounds like book. Shakespeare because they're, it, they're all Shakespeare fans. Ah, uh, well, there we go. Two points. Oh my god. Book three, two points. But- Blue Sergeant had forgotten how many times she'd been told that she would kill her true love. The Raven Boys. Yeah, I hate that book. God, I'm so good at this. That's when I knew that I was born to be great. Just destined for greatness. I'm so good at this. And the fact that it could have been any in the series, I knew which one it was. Oh, I'm genius. The dogs. I'm genius. I am your maid. Fuck off. The maid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a bad first sentence. My fault. I am your maid. Dear Professor Mansfield, I am investigating a mysterious case and suspect you may be able to help. Mansfield. Mansfield. Investigating. Oh, um, Mysterious Case of the Upton Angels? Nope. Oh, okay, next one. Let me explain. Fuck off. <laughs> Mansfield, I'm investigating. What is it? Investigating. I'm investigating a mysterious case and suspect you may be able to help. A Twyford Code? Aye, aye. I knew it was one of those. God, I'm so great. Emonies, when life give you lemons, make lemon verbena temblique recipe. What? <laughs> don't, I don't think that's the first sentence, is it? Baby girl oh. doesn't even cry when I suck my teeth and undo her braid for the fourth time. Oh, um, um, with the fire on high? Yeah. Is that what giving me a three point or a two point there? I'm going to give you a two point for that Two one. point, okay, fair enough. You've been very, very arsh. Nice to meet you, Kelly. Kelly arsh. Why do they have all this guff at the start of the book, eh? God, it's fucking annoying. <laughs> the moon was high and full. God. The night was ripe for the witchy business oh! and Danica Brown had honey on her tit. No. Mm? That, that's not the first sentence. The moon was high and <laughs> full. The night was ripe for witchy business and Danica Brown had honey on her tit. You are joking. Nope. You are j- Nope. She's got honey on her tit. <laughs> what? A tit. Just no. one tit. Just one tit. The ravens? <laughs> nope. The left one, specifically. What? I haven't read this. Have I? Uh, for which you... Who the fuck is Danica Brown? The monarchs? I'm just going for the other one. No. For fuck's sake, she muttered and swiped it off. <laughs> so don't mind she's accidentally got honey on her tits. Oh, Danny Brown. Danny Brown. Take a hint, Danny Brown. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. Honey tits. Honey tits. <laughs> I was like, this can't be a YA book. <laughs> shut your bloody blowing phone. I'm deal. shut, I'm shut. I'm sat. Sit back down. I'm sat. By the time Alex managed to get the blood out of her oh. good wool coat, it was too warm to wear it. Ninth house. Yeah. It's almost like this is my job. Wow. It's almost like you can hear where I'm getting the books from. No, I wouldn't. I, I knew I would have known that regardless. But I'm trying to tune that out. Most of the books, I have no idea where you've got them from. You big echo locator. <laughs> I hear a noise. <laughs> Linnet Ridgeway. Lynette Ridgeway. Lynette Ridgeway. I know that name. Give me the next one. That's her! <laughs> said Mr. Burnaby, the landlord of the Three Crowns. Lynette Ridgeway. That's her. Oh, is that Death on the Nile? Yep. Oh my god. I actually am amazed by my own brilliance. I'm actually fantastic at this. She couldn't remember the first book she had eaten. Oh, oh, who's eating books? Who's out here eating books? Uh, I'm just gonna make a guess. Library of the Unwritten? Nope. Okay, next one. What it tasted like, how it f- had felt, the scratch of it as it slid down her throat. Oh, oh, um, it's horrid. It is horrid. horrid. That's a good one. I liked that. Yeah, that sounds like an interesting book. Yeah, that's, the one, that's the one I'd choose to read most thus far. Okay. Out of all those first sentences. Okay. Interesting. Tom's in his reader era, era guys. Uh, not that much. <laughs> the parties at the Tunyon's house always ended up unquestionably late, and since the hosts enjoyed costume parties in particular, <laughs> it was not unusual to see China's bro- Boblenas with the folkloric skirts and ribbons in their hair arrive in the company of a harlequin or a cowboy. That's a long first sentence. That's dog firstly. water. That's absolute fucking shit. Next one. I have no clue. Their chauffeurs, rather than waiting outside the Tunyon's house in Vine, Oh, I know it. Had systemized, systematized the Mexican night. Gothic. It is. I wonder how you say that bit. 
onions. I love how Tom is showing me the word on the page here as if I don't have a blindfold on. That's a difficult one because that really has no relation to the rest of the book. Are you like holding them up for them? Before? Yeah. <laughs> so you can see. He goes. <laughs> like I'm selling it on QVC. <laughs> Something. Fuck, you're kidding me. Nope. Something. Something. Well, I have no clue. Next one. Way out in the white dark. Oh. Oh, I know this. I've done this before on the quiz. I actually don't know. I'm trying to think. Oh, is it no exit? Nope. No, okay. Third sentence. You can s Between the trees, moving where the thickets swarm. This is going to piss me off. Um... <laughs> I don't know! Um... I say thickets is a key word. Thickets. 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 That means a lot of trees, right? Mm. Shrubbery. My mind has gone blank. Um, Three. Two, two. One. Okay, tell me what it was. Wilder girls. Wilder girls. Wilder girls. Oh, that's irritating. Okay. I've just made a massive mistake and now I'm really annoyed. On the second Sabbath of Twelfth Moon in the city of Weep, a oh. girl fell from the sky. Oh, that one is um, Muse of Nightmares. No, it ain't. Oh, Strange, Strange Dreamer then. Yeah, two points though. Oh, two points. Pff, written by Scooby-Doo, would you believe? <laughs> Tom always says Lainey Taylor reminds me of Scooby-Doo, but do you think she looks like, like Daphne? No, she looks like a character like from Scooby-Doo. Like a character Scooby from Scooby-Doo. Like a side character. A side character from Scooby-Doo, okay. Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. Danny Gilchrist. It's a beautiful day in the city. Danny... I uh, have no idea. Next one. The sun is shining, not a cloud in the sky. The goldfinch? Yep. Third. I had a great lunch in Central Park. A chicken shawarma from the shawarma shop. <laughs> Which was overwhelmingly recommended to us by our listeners after last week's episode on New York City's best kept secrets. So it's a podcast. It's a podcast. I don't think that's Sadie. Um, Sadie? Yeah. It was? Yep. Come on, mate. you got to get some points on the board now, mate. Oh, I've been doing well. That was one point there, yeah? That was one point. Okay, good. The scythe arrived late oh. on a cold November afternoon. Scythe? Yeah. <laughs> Points on the board, baby. I'll take it. It could have been other ones in the series, though, to be fair. Do you know what I mean? Dogs. So I had a one in three chance. He's getting a book out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Megan's library. Imagine being kissed about a hundred times a day. The fuck? I'm alright. I do love them cats. <laughs> Is it someone like, I feel like it's someone doing a kissing booth or some shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um... No, next one. The tense moment just before the kiss, when they look right at me, like there's no one else in the room. What the fuck? The way they caress my Ugh. cheek, maybe put their hand on the small of my back. Ugh. I'm uncomfortable. I am really uncomfortable right now, and I'm feeling like I want to get up and leave. Um, <laughs> I need to make a guess. I've definitely read it. I've definitely read it. No clue. Give me a second. Give me a second. No, I give up. I don't know. It's Fat Chance Charlie Vega. Fat Chance Charlie Vega. Oh, Mr. I imagine being kissed. I thought it was uh, imagine yeah. being kissed. Yeah, I thought it was imagine being kissed. No, it's I imagine being kissed. Well, what difference does that make? Well, she's not actually being kissed. I'm I was trying to think imagine. Of... She's imagining. Yeah, but I thought she was saying to the person, imagine being kissed a hundred oh, times a day and saying that rest, happened to her. Give it a rest. Ooh. So I was trying to think of something different. This is how it begins. Oh, I know this, but I don't. This is how it begins. This is, I feel like I need the next sentence. Give me one more. You wake to sunlight whispering through the trees just outside the window. The last? No. Mm. Although. No, not the last. It's a faint light, weak and grey at the edges. You made me think it's... Is it the last time I lied? Yeah. <sighs> Mary Jekyll stared down at her mother's coffin. 
Strange Casey Ackley's daughter. Yep. Come on now. Come on now. I thought I'd give you some free points. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Friday, 4.45pm. The road curves and twists unexpectedly as it leads higher and deeper into Catskill Mountains. Catskill Mountains. As if the oh. further you get from civilization, the more uncertain the path. Uh, the woods are always watching? No. No, next one. The shadows are deepening, the weather worsening. Oh, I don't think this is going to be a dub. Catskill Mountains, I feel like something I should know. It's not no exit. No. No, last one. The Hudson River is there, appearing and disappearing from view. This is pissing me off. That's what this is. It's pissing me right off. What if I told you it's got... It's one of those classic ones with blue and yellow font. Uh, I don't know then. Mm, uh, I can't remember the name of any books. <laughs> uh, the Sanatorium. An unwanted guest. That was the book I was gonna. I was trying to think of the title. I knew it was that. I knew it was that when you gave me that clue, and I couldn't think of what it was called. I knew it was that one. I, I couldn't think of what it was called. I knew it was Shari the Pina. I knew the fuck. Okay. So how many points do you think you get? Okay, out of 60. Bearing in mind, three points for line one, two points for line two, one point for line three. I'm gonna guess like 35. 35? No! I got 35! How did I know mm. that? I was gonna say 36, but then I thought 35. That's not bad. Yeah, I think you could have done a little bit better. <laughs> I thought I was quite friendly with the books I picked. I picked ones that I knew you'd read. Oh my god. <laughs> One. <laughs> it's your silly system, mate. Well, thank you for helping me out. That was fun. I think I did well. I I'm think you did a very good job. 35. It's not bad. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got to the end, what emoji should they comment if they got to the end? Warthog. Warthog, we love the warthog emoji. Comment the warthog emoji if you got to the end. And see you soon. You just want to get your hat on. Yeah. <laughs> see you soon in another video. Bye! Bye.